what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest dirt system based on Android 13 and this is huge that this device is almost 4 years old and this is getting a Android 13 update. This is the first initial official build you can say so that's why it doesn't include any customization as such and if you're noticing the Android version shows as 13 and the build date here is 23rd August 2022 if you're noticing from this telegram post and I'll talk about the flashing guide a little bit later but let me tell you if you are someone who has the Redmi Note 7 Pro as your primary device yes that's when I won't suggest you to actually flash this ROM straight up but definitely this is interesting that we are already getting Android 13 based custom ROMs for this particular device. Now talking about the Android version section we got the Dirtfist logo right here and the platform version shows as Android 13 and if you keep tapping on it and make this clock to like this one o'clock then you will get this Android 13's easter egg and if you are noticing this actually looks beautiful it has multiple these kind of emojis and stuff appear so yeah these ones are definitely cooler right now let me show you the maintainer as Orpon or Firefly so huge thanks to the developer for this amazing development of Android 13 already for the Redmi Note 7 Pro and here we have the security patch as latest of August 5th 2022 and here we have the stock kernel as the Excalibur Plus kernel right now let me talk about the flashing guide or the flashing instructions if you are switching from a Android 12 ROM and of course if you are switching from MIUI you need to format data after flashing orange box recovery and stuff and if you have no idea how to flash orange box recovery or any other custom recovery on your device you can check out the recovery flashing guide from the description the orange box recovery version if you are wondering i have used the r11.1 underscore one this is a stable version for redmi note 7 pro and yes i have used this one to actually flash this rom right now let me tell you if you are coming from a uh, like android 12 based or android 11 based custom rom go to the wipe section then first select dalby cache system vendor and data and wipe these things but let me tell you that you do this for your decrypted storage if you do not have decrypted storage make sure you format data once then reboot your recovery once then flash any rom with the dfe file then it will be decrypted i hope i cleared that out so let me tell you again my storage is decrypted that's why just wiping these five things worked out pretty well for me so after doing this wipe go to the file section wherever you have downloaded the roms and stuff then from there i have flashed this firmware this is the 1251 firmware if you're noticing from right here i'll link it below again in the description and from here i add it to q then i selected the latest version of dirtface rom this is the file name dirtface 13 official tango violet and here it shows 23rd august 2022 build and after that i add it to q and i flash this newer dfe version 4 otherwise earlier we used to flash this fcrypt v3 but right now for android 13 it won't work that's why we need this dfe v4 this is actually for android 13 and yes i will link this one too in the description so do not worry and after selecting this one i just swipe to install after that it worked pretty fine and of course it has rebooted to system automatically for me because i had this option selected that's how you can clean flash a android 13 rom you can do it with any other rom out there for the redmi note 7 pro whichever are coming and stuff so yeah upcoming roms you can flash it with this method and let me tell you if you want to update let's assume that we have another like dirtface rom update in future we can simply select just this dirtface rom then add to queue and select this dfe file then just flash it and that's how you can apply the update you do not need to wipe anything if you are on the same rom right now let's just reboot to system now jump into the settings and the system settings we already have a system updater so that you can check for updates from here let me go back we have the gesture settings right here we have the quickly open camera and in the system navigation gestures we get all these two button and three button navigation and for this you can use these hold for assistant and stuff and if i go into the settings we do not get any pill bar customization as of right now and we only have the swipe to invoke assistant yes it takes a little bit time but yes it does appear let me go back we have the one-handed mode too that should work yes and we have the press and hold power button for the google assistant again and then we have the quickly open camera if you want to use that you definitely can and talking about the stock launcher we are getting the newer kind of derp face launcher over here if you're noticing this is a derp launcher as the name and we have this double tap gesture right here so i have seen this is the first rom on that i can actually like double tap anywhere in the home screen and it will lock the device or make the phone sleep this is huge and already we have the fingerprint scanner working i have set it up already let me show you one more time so the fingerprint scanner is working perfectly fine no issues whatsoever if you are noticing just notice how fast it unlocks
so yeah and even the animation if you are noticing is working perfectly fine with the ripple effect and stuff and to the left of the home screen we are getting the like google's discover page and yes it's a little bit choppy and while it's loading but yeah once it loads it's pretty fine the scrolling becomes totally fine after it loads and all the animation and stuff is working perfectly fine if you're noticing now talking about the quick setting panel this is how it looks like and in this we have this white theme on the notification shade but on the quick setting shade we have this dark theme even in the light theme so that's how it is and we have the wi-fi toggle right here and just notice this animations they look again beautiful and we have the bluetooth toggle right here the flashlight toggle is there and the dark theme auto rotate night light etc and you can add even more toggles if you want but i have already added a couple of them we have the nearby share the screen recording is there you can record the device audio and microphone audio together and we have the battery saver do not disturb and we have the data saver the google home controls also does appear over here the extra dim feature and we have the fps counter so right now as you can see it is working perfectly fine and if i scroll like this you will notice the fps info is actually changing or fps counter you might be noticing up to 60 fps it goes of course because redmi note 7 pro has our 60 fps display and talking about the power menu this is how it appears and yes there is no advanced reboot as of right now only the restart and power off options appears but yes they will be appearing in the future updates i guess and we have the like active app showing option over here and of course in the like status bar if you are noticing there is that bluetooth battery status if you are connected to a bluetooth headset like this bluetooth battery stats you can see right from the status bar also right now let me talk about the stock camera yes you are getting a weird kind of camera but yes you already get a stock camera that's really good let me show you you have these kind of settings and even in the video settings we can shoot up to 4k with the rear camera if you're noticing front camera is working perfectly fine no such like issues at all and there is again for the front camera up to 1080p shooting option and you have this selfie illumination and stuff if you want to enable these you definitely can right now let me show you the shutter speed and stuff so for that if i click a picture just like this as you can see it takes the picture and it loads for a moment but yeah it takes it pretty fast i would say considering this redmi note 7 pro does not have a very powerful cpu this is good enough stock camera i would say now let's talk about the other settings we have this network settings and stuff right here and vault e calling should be working fine but i haven't tested that personally so can't comment about that and in the battery settings we have this kind of battery settings we do not even get the battery percentage that too in a dark face drum but yes we cannot really complain much because this is like android 13 based first build of the dark face drum so it doesn't include any customization and yes you do get the battery usage seeing option the battery saver and we have the adaptive battery now let's talk about the battery life i have a new battery over here that's why you are saying this amazing battery life if you're noticing it shows 10 hours and 52 minutes so that's just huge but yes 10 hours of screen on time i think is possible with this newer battery that i have over here and in the health section my battery shows as 94 percent so yeah the battery life over here should be really good if you have replaced your battery but if you haven't you may get about six hours of screen on time or maybe five hours of screen on time and yes fast charging for me is working perfectly fine i did not have any issues with fast charging on this rom in the sound and vibration settings if you go we have all the sound settings by the way this is how the volume panel looks like you can expand it just like this and we have the dial per tone screen locking sound charging sound and vibration and already we have the me sound enhancer and you can choose the presets from right here you have multiple presets i personally use with the youth edition and the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth with the youth edition has been great even the speakers are working perfectly fine right now let me show you the display settings we have the brightness level the adaptive or auto brightness and inside lock screen we have the privacy controls then we have the show device control control from lock device and stuff this is for the google home kind of controls so that's great we are getting this back with the like it was there in android 11 and in the android 13 too it's back but on android 12 and 12 well it wasn't there so that's great we have the double line clock the now playing and the always short iron info and the wake screen for notification options are there we have the screen timeout the dark theme and this display size and text is newer thing we have the font size and even this display size customization from right here and it actually shows how it will look everywhere so this is great we have the bold text and the high contrast text too and we get the color settings and from right here we have the natural boosted saturated and adaptive controls the double tap to wake and stuff is there and in the ambient display we already have a pickup option so i'll just lock the device and put it on the desk and right now if i pick it up on my hand as you can see you are noticing that ambient display so yeah this is great that the pickup option is actually working perfectly fine 
Let me go back from here. We have the wallpapers and styles and in here you will get the change wallpaper option. And of course we are getting the dirt faced wallpaper. So all these like art of owls you can definitely get from right here. You can go with any wallpaper of these and yes, they look beautiful. Let me go back from right here. We have all these colors and right now again for the wallpapers only you are getting 16 colors and even for the basic colors you are getting again 16 colors right here. And we have the dark theme and the app grid customization up to 5x5. Five five. But inside security, if you go over here, if you're coming from an Android 12 L custom ROM, you will be pretty disappointed because there is no quick unlock feature or even there is no face unlock, no app lock. You need to keep those in mind because we only get the fingerprint option. And yes, I have set it up with the fingerprint scanner. I showed you the fingerprint scanner speed already. So yeah, fingerprint scanner is working fine, but again, no face unlock or app lock as of right now. Too early to expect those, I would say. Now, some things are disappointing over here, like you will notice it fails the CTS profile match. That simply means the safety net does not pass right out of the box over here. I don't know why, but yes, that's how it is as of right now. Maybe in the next update, we'll get the safety net passed right out of the box. But right now, at least as of on this build, we do not get the safety net passed. So that's why I said that I should not recommend you guys to actually flash this from right away because safety net or banking apps will not work over here, I think. Now let me talk about the IR Bluster and yes, if you're noticing that blinking light, that simply means that IR Bluster is working perfectly fine on this from no issues. Also the DNO info shows as L1, so you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p, you should not have any problems with those. So to conclude the first build of Turface ROM, let me remind you again, there is no customizations at all. And even if you go and try to take a screenshot, you cannot really do that. There is no three finger screenshot gesture, but of course you can take screenshot with the volume button like minus and the power button. Let me show you that. As you can see, screenshot is taken and we get the capture mode feature and stuff. That's not a problem. And if you want to copy the text, yes, you do get the Android 13's like newer copying feature. And let me actually show you that if I copy, I get this kind of window. If I tap on it, it will open like this and it will show it is from Chrome and I can share this text to anywhere I want. So you are getting this newer Android 13 features, but then again, you do not get the like customization and stuff and no screenshot gesture and stuff are pretty like disappointing, I would say. Let me show you the recent channel again and just notice all this animation and stuff is buttery smooth, no problems at all. And again, all the way to the left, if you go, you will get the clear all option. And yes, you do have the split top mode and stuff if you want to like use those. The split top is actually working perfectly fine. And yes, the animations are perfectly fine. No problems whatsoever. Let me go home. And as you can see, both of the apps stay together. And in Play Store, it shows device is not certified. And yes, if you want to look at the performance benchmarks here or the Android and Geekbench score on this particular ROM with a CPU stress test. So let me in the comments what do you guys think about the latest Dirt Fist ROM on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. I feel, yes, you can definitely flash it if you want to test the Android 13. But otherwise, I don't see a lot of like new things. It is not worth it to already switch if you're going to use this phone as your normal daily driving device. That's what I feel. Let me in the comments what do you guys think and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.